cold noodles good morning <laughs> you know well, they're, they're not gonna spend that much money every time anyway you can't burn people out Anyang haseyo cold noodles how are you this morning today we are going to be doing a bride natsuha run also cold noodles have you ever played the uh, Super Nintendo Super Famicom uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Because if so, you should go watch that VOD. It was it was pretty funny. Okay, we're going for a true end, so we'll just keychain and notebook here. We're doing a vocal run. You've never played it? Oh, it's so good. Oh, you should play it. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. What you should do is, is maybe watch some of those VODs. It's pretty fun. I play it on randomizer, so all of the items in the game are just wherever. And you don't do it in linear order. Did it ever... Oh, I wonder. Was it ever translated to Korean? That seems more niche than English. So maybe it wasn't. Oh. Kogane in the room. Very first week. Look at this bride. She's wearing her bride outfit. No consoles at all. That's okay. You can emulate it now. And I recommend that you do so. I mean, don't emulate Definitely not. Alright. I forget what her memory appeal is. Isn't it like a visual buff to all or something? We'll see. She wants to do a dance lesson this week. Maybe we do that. Maybe we get to like level 3 or something since we are going for the true end. We'll do, we'll do some auditions here. Oh, her hair looks so cute in this outfit. All tied up when she's in her workout outfit. We do need to get some vocal going. We do need to be able to win auditions here. I don't know what I've been doing recently, but they've been they've been different than true and so I'm I'm a little out of practice. The room's already leveled up though, so we can actually skip an audition here. Alright, sixteen percent failure. I think we do it. Ooh, easy. Room's level 3. I need to get some SP. We don't need very much SP for true ends though. Alarm bell. I love her second event. I won't spoil it if you haven't. But all of all of her events in this card are different bells. So, you know, alarm bell in the morning for her first commu. Wedding bell at the end for her last one. I really like her second one. It's pretty silly. Okay, let's get... Let's get a rest in here. It's going to be a little bit harder of a run because we do have those two low level supports. Hopefully we can true end, if not we attempt again later. But we've got we've got this Choco in here and this Kaho in here because they're the current event cards. So I'm doing the event missions by bringing them along. An important exam? Oh, cold noodles. You got this. You can do it. Called noodles. Oh, this is a different one than I was looking for. I picked the wrong one. This one, this one. You got this. Bye bye, cold noodles. Have a good study, my friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's easy to study with me. You will, Cold Noodles. Never give up. Oh shoot, did I close Shining Colors? No, I didn't. It's in the background here. Thank you. You have a good day as well, my friend. Bye bye. Pablo. Welcome to the chat. How are you doing this fine morning? Today we are we are running this Choco and this Kaho and this Natsuha all in one. We're going to knock out all the event missions in one run. Let's go get this uncapped from Kiriko. Juggy with that tier 2 emote. 
Nibatsu Catastrophe. Alright, we can grab a little bit of SP here. Oh, the perfect 34 SP. Nice and easy. Get an extra vocal from Rinze here. We're gonna we're gonna keep doing mental. Oh, 74. I know you've got you've got tier three. That's only a tier two email. There's not even a tier three email yet. You're ahead of the curve, Jeggy. You can can you can you do all of Katakana, Drew? But yeah, Jeggy's with the tier three. There's not even a tier three yet. I think tier three is gonna be my baby. Holding her up like Lion King or something. That's the plan. If my wife will let me ever hold her. We'll see. Oh, get this on cap. Oh, Pablo. The 70 pulls, no cards. I knew that my good luck and Cho's good luck would end up in someone else's misfortune. And I'm sorry it was you. She's going to let me hold the baby when it poops. Is that what you're about to say? Somehow I suspect that's what Jeggy's about to say. That's true. We're all going to need sleep. Alright, Kiriko's in the room. She's got massive vocal mastery, so we're getting tons of vocal here. Alright, let's 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 find a word for Drew to, for Drew to read. Okay. Um, this, let's see. I need one that's kind of zoomed in. But, how about this right here? three letters. Now the middle letter, I don't know if you've learned in your katakana yet, but it just extends the sound from the first one. Alright, Drew, you got this. So you, it's really only two letters. It's just the long of the first letter. Ignore these last three. These are irrelevant. I'll give them, you know, I'll put it in chat. We'll see if you can get it. You got this, Drew. Everybody, cheer him on. Drew's gonna wow us with his Japanese skills this morning. Close. It's homu. It's to go back to the home menu. Home. Literally every katakana in this game is actually an English word. It's so easy once you learn katakana. If it was Chimu, it would probably mean team, but it's Homu, which means home. Let's go back to the home menu. Easy. Super easy. Alright, look at this frog princess. Oh, it's making us skip the cutscene. It was still pretty cute, though. Easy audition. Because it's the season 2 audition. I'm a little bit concerned later. If we do happen to get that Kaho. Yeah, you got close. Honestly. You got one of them. That's halfway there. I like how she just like has Natsuha written on. She's got like a little sticker. Like they're on some, some school trip or something. Hokago girls are pretty cute themes. I think I prefer like the, the Lantica themes that are like Game of Thrones now, like the latest ones they all have. See, look at it. You might have missed it. For the second Kamu, it's a bell, but it's Natsuha. She's like the, the fitness and smarts girl. So the second bell Kamu is called Dumbbell for weightlifting. Oh, I love it so much. All right, let's go for this Kiriko skill. Oh, we got to we got to do the the triple idol room. It costs almost no stamina cuz we got all this stamina boost. We got nothing else to do this season. We don't need to win any more auditions or anything. So we're just going to grind out some vocal and some mental, maybe some SP so that we're ready. In fact, I probably need more SP cuz we don't have Hiori this time. Hiori grants us extra SP for these auditions. Oh, but you can't you can't skip on a Kiriko room. She's given us plus 16 just for being in that room. You cannot pass that up. All right. We can do 30 mental or 21 SP. I think we do the 21 SP. Get Rinze up to these red bonds. 
So we're at 78. How many do I need for this skill? Another 42. Okay, we're gonna rest. Gotten very few promises this run, which is okay, just means we might have to turn them down in later seasons here. Oh, the perfect. Alright, we're done with SP. We're at 56. Boom. Boom. We just need to do auditions now. We've got two good active skills. The only concern is maybe we get like our visual one, our dance one, and the Kaho skill as our three skills, because the Kaho skill is not going to hit very hard, but it'll still hit for vocal. It'll be decent. It's just going to be on our level 30 Kaho stats. So if we can, we'll grab some passives on the way. Um, the rooms don't look great, so it's time to do this spotlight audition. I think we can do this with pretty low vocal. Oh, we can definitely do this since we got both of our strongest skills. Hitting for 5.7, they're hitting for 2.7. We got dodge up for a couple turns. It's only a level 1 memory appeal. So let's see. Kiriko hits for 3.8, and our level 1 memory appeal hits for... What a cutie. Jury in the background. 3.3. Okay, so yeah, our level 1 memory appeal is like weaker than a regular vocal skill. Feels bad. An off stat vocal skill. So unless we hit higher memory appeal later in this run, we're going to maybe have to do three perfects in a row. Look at this frog princess. She's number one. I didn't even see this like freaking wrestling belt she's got on. So cute. There's a lot of details in this outfit. I think maybe there's too many details. It's a little bit crazy, but that's probably the point. Just to make it look a little goofy. And then she's got this elegant non fess outfit going on here. Okay, once again, none of the room's looking good at all. It's vocal first. So we'll knock out our 50k here. And then we've got a choice. We could go for more 50ks and fewer 100ks. Which I think we maybe do. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so the Idol Master is a series from, like, the freaking 90s. However, all of these characters... So it's, it's a series about literally scouting pop idols for, for J-pop, you know. Or not necessarily J-pop, but just in general idols. Um, and so each release of it, you know, kind of like Final Fantasy or something, each Idol Master release has new characters and they're new idols that have been scouted. So like when you play this game, if you read Japanese well, which I don't, um, each time you produce an idol here, during the story, you actually get the story of like how they were scouted for being an idol. So like uh, Chiyuki here, I know hers because I kind of I self-translated hers a bit while I was practicing some kanji, but I'll go show you here. Maybe, maybe we're getting some events. Oh, Choco support event. Vocal visual. Interesting. We hit our 100k. I'll just go show you who I'm talking about. So if you go and you look... Oh, oh. Spoilers, we're doing missions now. Let me go. It's trying to make me do all the missions. Okay. Back. Idols. Idol list. We'll just go to her like rare card or whatever. So this girl, I read her intro story or whatever. And it's like... You're walking down the street, and she's like, Sir, sir, and you, you've got like a button undone or whatever, and she sews it back up for you. And you just happen to be looking for new idols at the time, and you're like, wow, you have such a wonderful smile, or, you know, whatever. I think that's like a, a running joke in the series, is is you always compliment their smile, because like that's the first thing you notice about the idols or something. And that's why you decide to recruit them. I'm going to grab some extra mental here. But yeah, so so all of these girls in this particular game are new idols for the series. Um, but there are some games, like I think Cinderella Girls, see Wedding Bell here, 
I think the Idolmaster Cinderella Girls is another game that's still going on right now. And that one's got idols from like all of the older games or something. There's no sound in these cutscenes. Makes me sad. Cute little wedding cutscene with Natsuha there. Oh, Morning Promise. There's different branches. Right, right. So, so it's kind of like, oh yeah, yeah. And so that's the other thing is like, these all have production companies that are produced. Exact, exactly. That's actually what you are. You're a producer. Is what you're called in uh, in the games. You produce beautiful women. So, um, so each game sort of focuses on one production company. So, like these ones are, I think it's like production company 283 or something, which is just what it's called in in uh, in the game. And then, like, so I think like the original are like 765 or something. There's even one if you want. Millions of Sexy Men called Side M. That's another Idol Master game. If you want to produce cute boys, you can do that too. Like, there's just tons of them. Alright, we got five weeks left. Let's get 50k uh, fans again. So, I'm doing right now what's called a true end run, which is harder than normal. So, normally you just want to like get through all 32 weeks and you've got these fan counts. Maybe it's easier out outside of an audition, I'll show you. So basically a true end run means we need to do more of these battles going on right here. I'm gonna try and last hit. So you get points in the battles by doing the top damage to one of these judges on the left, by doing the last, you know, finishing blow to them, or by doing at least 30% of their health. So you can get that 30% health one three times if you are the only one hitting them, but that's pretty rare. So you'll see I've got these three different appeals at the bottom here. I'm doing a vocal focused runs. Yeah, so the original console games, that's true, that's true. That's something to mention. Is this game, I like it because it kind of goes back to the original games, which I never played. But they are, they are about like, kind of doing this arcade simulation raising type thing where we're gaining stats and so on and so forth. Yeah, I say killing, but I think you're... You know, you're appealing to them until they're satisfied or something, or their interest is run out. I don't, I don't have to know what the actual terminology is. But um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of the games in between the first game and this game have all been rhythm games. So let me, let's, let's YouTube it. Let's see if we can just find like a, a gameplay. No, I don't need a guide. So like this one is one I'm trying to pick up. And so the gameplay of a lot of the other games is like DDR, you know? You're doing this on your phone. So it's a little different. But these games are more are more raising games. So you know, you've got like all your different stats here. So since we've been going for a vocal run, I've got 505 vocal here, 389 mental. These are like my active skills, these are passive skills that can proc during during the auditions and stuff. Speaking of, let's grab some. These all 10% chance, I always forget. Alright, this Kaho is not an event card, so it's a, it's a strong card to grab skills from. So anyways, um, so up at the top here, if you've been noticing, this is like your required fan count. Jet to the Future is a great song, that's probably why it's the top YouTube one, huh? I'll have to I'll have to go watch it. It did sound like it was started out pretty good. I like the one uh, Maddie Maddie linked it in the Discord. Maybe it wasn't Maddie. It was someone um, where it starts like one, two, three, four, or kiss, kiss, or something like that. And then it's kind of dubstepy. That was that one was pretty good. But so you have to hit. So we're here's some kind of kind of for you. So this right here says season three. Okay, it's, it's not being covered by the event tracker. But so we're in season three out of four seasons right now. You get four seasons to produce a card. This is my number of weeks left. So we get basically four more turns. Hotel Moonside. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. That one, that one was sick. 
One, two, kiss, kiss. Yes, it was really good. Look up Hotel Moonside. I love that song. All right. Um, oh, is it a solo? Nice. Because that, that's where I saw Kana Day for the first time. And she's pretty cute. But I think we're going with the, the cowgirl. I don't remember what her name is. I got I to gotta get it on my wife's uh, iPad. I think it's an iPad. Anyways, so these judges, we're just hitting them with vocal skills because our vocal's super high. Since the dance judge is first, I should be hitting him with dance skills. But I'm going for a run that's so strong and vocal, it doesn't matter what the judge has. We're just going to be super good at singing. Big titty cowgirl, exactly. That's that's what we're into here on this stream. Family friendly cowgirls. She's cute. She's only 16, of course. The ones with the biggest boobs in these Idol Master games are always too young. Actually, that's wait, well, yeah, Kogane is like only 16 too, right? In this game, not appropriate. Japan, you gotta stop that shit. That's okay. I think Natsuha is of legal age. And she's a cutie pie. She's like 19, I think. The oldest they get in this game is, I think, Chiyuki, who's 23. Big yikes. Yeah. Kaho's 12. So, uh... So no, no looting this girl here. This one. No, no touching. Yeah, I think Kogane is only 16. Let's go look. Let's go see just how inappropriate this game can be. Uh, I think we need a Fest card. So Chiyuki's, Chiyuki's probably my favorite. She's 23. I don't know. I don't want to know. Kaho, I think, is the youngest this game. She's 12. You're not allowed to loot her. You may only protect her. And then where'd Kogane go? This is my best Kogane. And she is... Oh, she's 19. I lied to you. I totally lied to you. Kogane's got the biggest boobs, I'm pretty sure, in this game, but she's of legal age, so everything's okay. No freaking out here. Maguru's pretty close, and I feel like she's 16, yeah, okay. Anyways, the point of this game is not to lube them. This is not, this is not a porn game. It is actually a very good gacha game. If you want to lube them in your spare time, I can't stop you. But anyway, yeah, Asa oh yeah, you're right, Asahi's 14. Which one's your favorite, Drew? There's a little bit of stream delay. Is it Maguru, the American girl? Hamburger girl? Crunch, how's it going, my friend? I see that, I see that bit number two badge from yesterday's stream. Y'all are crazy. God damn it. Maybe maybe I shouldn't be introducing Drew to Idolmaster here. We need good uh what's the words? What's the word I'm looking for? You know, when you go over to another country as a delegate or whatever. What's the word for it? No no, you gotta do full shout out. I don't have aliases set up. There we go. There we go. Drew with the 24-hour Ocarina of Time randomizer stream. Ambassador. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we need we need good-hearted Idol Master ambassadors, not booby-hearted Idol Master ambassadors. Drew. That's uh I'm looking at you there. And Juggy. Juggy is literally named Juggy for a reason. All right. Do I grab more SP here? Let's, well, it's vocal first, so we're gonna knock this out. I'm your ambassador to all things Japanese. So hopefully I'm a good influence in the fact that this stream is not necessarily titty-focused. However, if you enjoy them while we do, I can't stop you. Alright. Nice thing they just added in like the last patch is when you're doing these auditions, you can actually see their stats while you do it. So you can see, like, Natsuha's got 153 visual here. Kaho's got 161 vocal. So you can actually see which one's going to be your strongest hit here. You know that that Kaho's level 30. Oh, getting distracted. I don't think so. I think I'm thinking of 
Ayumi or whatever her name is. Let's go luck. Let's pull up Cinderella Girl Starlight Stage. Update sub count. Wait, is it wrong, Jackie? Interesting. Yeah, yeah. We gotta we gotta fix that Moobot. Right there, because it's saying 12, but technically Juggy's like a tier 3, which counts for like 6. So we're at like 18. So that that sub goal has been hit. That Fuyuko emote is hopefully incoming. I do like Cowgirls. I am a huge Camilla fan. But what a... Let's see, what girl am I thinking of in Starlight Stage? I gotta, I gotta scroll up a bit for this. Let's go see my latest post in the Starlight Stage channel. Maybe. Ayuna. So I'm thinking up here. She's definitely a big titty cowgirl. You're not wrong. Oh, let's get this link appeal going. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I don't know who you're talking about because Ayuna is not voiced. Ayuna is like super unpopular. Like I tried to, I tried to get a role in the Starlight Stage Discord to to be an Ayuna P or whatever, and it's just not even an option. Because <laughs> there's like there's so Drew, there's currently five, ten, sixteen, nineteen, twenty two girls in this game. Starlight Stage has like a hundred and thirty or something, something crazy like that. And that's why you don't you don't get as much good one on one time with the girls. Like every girl in this game, I think is pretty well fleshed out. You get a lot of cutscenes with them and that kind of stuff. Whereas in Starlight Stage, some of them just go a little bit unloved. Just gonna keep grabbing passives here to make this true end run a little bit easier. Okay, we're at 300k fans. So in order to get to um, in order to get through this entire season, you need like 40k fans or whatever. But to get a true end run, you need 500k fans. You need to do like a lot more auditions instead of training stats. So it's pretty hard when you're first starting out. Because you, when you're first starting out, you really need to be doing these rooms to get stats just to win the auditions. Whereas when you've got super high level supports going, you kind of have the stats before you need them. And you can just do auditions instead of training stats. So, let's see. It is a dance first, vocal second. We can probably win this going for vocal second. Yeah, so they did actually just add three more girls. So it was 19 to begin with. Um, and then at the one year anniversary, they announced they're adding another, another unit, another three girl unit. And then of course, it's not just like the 22 girls you collect them all and you're done. Every girl keeps coming out with new cards. And that, that's where the gacha comes in. Is like this bride Natsuha. Shizuki. Shizuku. Alright, well, if she's a big titty cowgirl, then maybe maybe we'll like her too. Let's go. Let's go look up this idol real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm just not into like the short brown hair. Dude, honestly, hair is the first thing. I look for in a girl. It's hair and then face and then body features. I mean, I see where you're coming from with the big titty cowgirl. But I don't I don't know if she's my type. Feels bad. Alright. So like the crazier the hair the better. Goth girls, scene girls, that's where it's at. That's why I wasn't a huge fan of Chiyuki at first. She's just got the long brown hair. But she grew on me with all the commies and stuff. And the and the bad cop card. But that's that's not why we're here. That's why Natsu, I think, was, was the one I was most interested in at first. She's got the, the cute red hair. Orange hair, I guess. I like the new B Kiriko. Why do they why do they all have these buns lately? Are they easier to animate maybe? Everyone's got buns these days. Maybe the new artist, because I think this game recently got a new artist. Maybe the new artist has a thing for buns. Alright, vocal first. We can totally win this. That'll hit us to 500k. But yeah, let me 
Let's do this audition. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the gotcha. So like this right here is the worst case scenario. In fact, we may lose this audition because we got the worst case scenario. We had the mental recovery card, our visual one, and then Kaho's hit. Oh. No. Okay. I think we hit hard enough just at the end here. For top. Okay. That actually got a little close. But we're good. We should pass this one. Yeah, Mamimi. Mamimi was a, a strong second place contender for me at the start. She's got that gothic vibe for sure. We'll have to we'll have to go over all the girls. I think I've got I think on my YouTube tutorial, if you go into the links, there's still like a PDF um what are they called? Slideshow or whatever that Maddie put together that kind of describes all the girls a little bit if you're looking for a favorite. But here's what I mean. So you're wondering why they don't add more idols. It's because they can they're they're adding more cards of the same idol. So like this was Natsuha's original like SSR card, which is like the super super fetch card, you know? Super strong. And it's got like these five different scenarios, cutscenes, whatever you want to call them. I think they're called commus that are all voiced and they all have different things going on. Like if I play this right here, this is this is what you won't get by learning katakana is all this freaking kanji and stuff. But yeah, she gets tons of cutscenes and stuff. And then they come out with more Natsuhas. So it's the same girl, which means that she works in the same teams and stuff, um, but with different skills, you know, and different outfits, of course, too. That's very important. And so this third one just came out today. Or not today, like this week is what I meant to say. Um, and she's got like some sick skills. Like if you get four stars of her, five copies, she can literally hit every single judge for a visual 3.5. And that's the sickest thing ever. And it's absolutely broken. And I want more copies, but I didn't pull enough copies to max her out. So I'm not going to worry about it. Anyways, uh, let's get some SP, finish this run up. We are at 500k fans in the bottom right here. So we can true end, but we have to win wing. Here's another event. I think we go for visual here. Because I think our vocals maxed out this run already. It's going to be at least with all these event commies. Yeah, we're at 600. Uh, we could maybe go for another uncap. Maybe I should. Grab some more SP to buy that uncap. Zero. I am actually one of the sick freaks who plays gacha games free to play. Fire Emblem Heroes free to play. Idol Master free to play. What what other gacha games have I played a bit? I think I think those are the two big ones. Animal Crossing free to play. I know. Dude Pablo. Okay, put put some conspiracy theory music on. What if? What if May's first card? is an SSR because you've got the team for it now and that's such a good way to, for them to like force people to shell out some unexpected money so we've gotten we've got an SR Fuyuko two gotchas later we got SR Asahi and then two gotcha two gotchas later you get the like center SSR May to make a stray light team and you're like oh shit time to make a stray light team I'm I'm hopeful Okay, we just bought an uncap, so we can go up to 700 vocal now. We've only got two weeks to do it, but Kiriko and Kogane are here with 58. Dude, if it's an SSR May and I just spent all these jewels on Bride Natsuha and I don't have enough to spark her and I don't get her... Oh, 1% fail right at the end! At least it wasn't a catastrophe. We'll see, we'll see. Yep, yep. I mean, I'm... Honestly, I'm happy either way. If it's an SSR me, I'm actually probably more excited. I know, yeah, I'm not super into the Animal Crossing, but my wife loves it, and I can send her money and stuff in it, so I gotta play it. Gotta play it to support her. Okay, it's dance first, vocal second, one of the better wing semifinals here. So we have to win these next two auditions. We have to at least win this next audition, but if we win it and we're doing a vocal run, we've, we've got the one after it too, for sure. So we're gonna go for second place. Oh, we still have a level 1 memory appeal. Yeesh, we got no promises from our bride this 
this run, huh? Already missing perfects here. Damn, they're not hitting dance very hard. Does Sakuya hit dance? Okay. This is actually the most important thing to learn if you're going for true ends or S ranks is how the AI functions. So Sakuya is idle C. On turn three, she's going to be hitting second place. Okay, this is fine. So we can hit a normal here. It'll put us, after all of the dance hits, prep dance for a finishing blow. Okay, there's the last hit for us. Get a few stars out of that. Top appeal on vocal. Now we just need to make sure that Kiriko here, she's going to hit first. So we just need to be somewhere in here. We'll hit good. Kiriko did not get that last hit. Kiori gets all the stars. Ooh, boom. Dude, I'm so fucking hyped for an actual Animal Crossing and not a gotcha Animal Crossing. I'm so ready for that, dude. We're getting the Nintendo Direct soon here, right? It's like a few days away. And hopefully, man, if they don't mention any Animal Crossing news... Okay, so there's the wing semifinals win. If you're doing a vocal run and your vocal's pretty good, that means you just won everything. Because it's very hard to lose. We'll grab two passives. What's this one? Hits all. For God, this Natsuha is so strong. Even, even no stars, Natsuha. She gets one of the best visual skills in the game. It's insane. Pokemon Direct soon, yes. But I think... I think there's also a Nintendo Direct, right? Uh oh. Uh oh, we got two of our weakest skills right off the bat. Not Kaho. Not Kaho. Okay, we got Natsuha with a passive buff. We should have a little bit of buffer room, even if it is Kaho. Shoot, it's Kaho. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is getting risky. We need to get top appeal here. No, I hit good! Okay, alright, alright. We just barely got it. <sighs> Man, if the AI had hit a perfect on that turn, we might have actually lost that, but we're good. We true ended. Nice and easy. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping the E3 Direct is going to be tons of Animal Crossing, because they scheduled like three days for it. I mean, normally they do like the treehouse or whatever, but I feel like it's even longer than normal. Boom. Not so out true. And 500k and won the uh, the final boss battle essentially in the wing. So that's true end. And we brought both of the event cards. So that should be like literally 12 plus event missions done. Should be almost every event mission except for uh, getting Choco's wing win and Kaho's wing win. Okay, so it's a decent card, but I'm not going to buy skills on it. If I want to produce a vocal Natsuha, I can do that much easier with different cards. Pokemon and Animal Crossing, hell yeah. That's that's all anyone needs, right? I'm kind of excited for the new Pokemon gem, but I really did not like Sun and Moon. That's true, we get some jewels from True Ending. I forgot. We ran out of True Ends at one point and I was like, no more jewels ever again. Level 3, training ticket. Alright, are we going to see another Rainbow EX skill? It's so quiet. Come on, Rainbow EX skill. No, bronze. Feels bad. So the EX skills that you get are one of the uh, sort of out-of-run progression. Twinkle a bell. Did we just visit? Oh no, we're at the production company. I'm like, you can't just visit Natsu at her apartment for a true end. I'm assuming they worked really hard on that true end, Kamu, because Natsuha's first SSR true end. Look at this, 6,000 jewels, and we did 16 event missions. I was a little bit off. Okay, so that was our fifth idol produced. We got a Hokago after school climax girl to D rank, C rank, B rank. 
we passed season two with Natsuha, season three with Natsuha, season four with Natsuha, one wing with season four Natsuha, season two with the event Natsuha, season three with the event Natsuha, season four with the event Natsuha, season two with the event Kaho, season three with the event Kaho, season four with the event Kaho, season two with the event Choco, season three with the event Choco. All right. So what missions do we still need? We need to just produce more units. Uh, we need to finish some notes in Thanks Flapping Day. We need to get Choco to a wing win. It's only wing semis, and we need to get Kaho to a wing semis. So let's do Choco and Kaho now. Finish up these event missions. 